Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Dango Daikazoku, okay? So I'll be teaching you two main sections of this, so yeah, give you a preview before we start learning it, okay? The first section is the very awesome catchy goes... section okay and then the other section is the chorus section give you a preview of that as well it goes like this it's pretty awesome as well So let's get right into learning these two sections, okay? So here we go. We're learning the melody and block chords, and then at the end you can kind of like add your own like improvisations and stuff. So here we go. Here we go. First section first, right hand. Uh, we'll break it up into two parts, it's easier to learn. First part goes like this, goes F, E flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, C, A flat, down to E flat, F, E flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, C, B flat. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes F, E flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, C, A flat, E flat, F, E flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, C, B flat. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. Then the second chord is second inversion of F minor, which is C, F, A flat. Third chord is D flat major. And fourth chord C minor, which is C, E flat, G. So these four chords in mind, so D flat major, second inversion of F minor, D flat major, and C minor. Okay, two hands together, goes like this. So right hand starts, and the left hand together. Second B flat and chord together. F and D flat major together. 2nd B flat and C minor together. Like that. And that's the first part. One more time. It goes like this. So together. 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 Like that. Yeah. Alright. Now, moving on. The second part of this section goes like this. Similar. So, it's, um, I guess 3 quarter of it is exactly the same. So, it's here. Same. Same. And then the last uh, after this B flat is where it changes. It starts uh, right hand goes to A flat and the left hand is A flat major. Okay, left hand is A flat C E flat. Okay, so three quarters of this second part is the same as the uh, first part. Three quarters. Okay, so pretty easy stuff. Remember that. So this is the same. Same. After the B flat and then A flat and A flat major together. Okay, so that's the second part using the first part for the learning process, all right? So back to back, the two parts of this section, you just play like this. There you have it for this first section, okay? So I'll apply the pattern later on after the lesson that we learned the second section as well, okay? But anyways, let's learn the other section now. So break this section up into two parts as well, okay? So this, uh, this section has more notes because it's faster, so you gotta pay attention. So it goes B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, B flat, C, and then A flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, F, B flat, A flat, up to E flat, C. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes lower B flat, E flat, A flat, up to the B flat twice, A flat, F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, B flat, C, A flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, F, B flat, A flat, E flat, C. That's it for the right hand for the first part of this second section. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. 
Second chord is first inversion of A flat major, which is C, E flat, A flat. Third chord back to D flat major, and fourth chord F minor, which is F, A flat, C. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so D flat major, first inversion, A flat major, D flat major, and then F minor. Two hands together, goes like this, right hand starts. Second B flat and D flat major together. C and chord together. Second B flat and D flat major together. C and F minor together. And that's it for the first part, let's do it again. So it goes like this. Together. Moving on to the second part, okay, right hand, once again, it's similar to the first part where it just goes uh, B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, B flat, C, and then changes A flat, G, F, F, G, A flat, G, A flat. That's it for the second part for the right hand. One more time, it goes B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, F. A flat, B flat, C, E flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, F, F, G, A flat, G, A flat. Okay, that's it for the right hand there, left hand. We have five chords here, finishing here. Five chords of D flat major, D flat, F, A flat. Then we have the first inversion, A flat major, which you know, C, E flat, A flat. Third chord, B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. Fourth chord, E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. And fifth chord, A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. So with these five chords in mind, so D flat major, first inversion, A flat major, B flat minor, E flat major, A flat major. Two hands together goes like this, right hand starts. Second B flat and D flat major together. C and chord together. F and B flat minor together. G and E flat major together. After G, A flat major by itself. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. Together. That's that. All right, back to back, two parts of this section where we play like this. Okay, so yeah, that's that. All right, so yeah, once you got this, you can start to make your own version up, okay? Uh, for the preview, I actually just did like simple, just like a, for the chords, do the lower note followed by the higher two notes, and just do it for all of the chords, like that, etc. So for the first section, it'll be like, The second section is actually not as good to do that because there's like a passing chord part. I remember in the preview, I only play like the root note for the third last chord. But anyways, so yeah, for the uh, chorus section, you can like add bigger like octave arpeggio patterns if you want. So you can be like. two themes to learn in this lesson okay but anyways that's that by the way check out all the other anime themes that are really nice to learn on my channel so check it out anyway that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages meme songs video game music movie anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that i teach so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn from my piano courses on how to play by ear improvise read sheet music how to play and sing and many more courses at all types of levels even for those who have never touched a piano before as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.